I shook his hand. I'm like, oh, I know what he's about to do. So I you ready for it? How many Trump handshake battles have we done on this channel? Listen to what Rogan says. He did it twice. So I fucking anchored myself. I'm like, not today, Core son. Strength. Not today. Would you give me a nice pull? And I'm like, but we're hanging out for a while. So then the next time I met him, he was at a UFC as well. Did he try to pull? Dude, I'll tell you what happened. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you, people are on to him. World leaders, like everybody now, they're starting to be aware of it. And look at their feet. Like when they go up to meet him, they look like a linebacker trying to sink in. Sitting down and he looks at me and he goes like this and he gets up and starts walking towards me. And I, I get up and I reach over with my hand and he gets, <laughs> and I'm over a table. He I'm over you. a table. <laughs> he, got he got me. He got me good. He got me. So what you got to take from this is anytime someone takes power, what happens? People start talking like them. People start dressing like them. And I wouldn't be surprised if people soon start shaking hands like Donald Trump and incorporate the yank. So more important than ever, square up to the person, look him in the eye, shake not too soft, but also not too firm. Too firm also shows a lack of confidence and trying to overcompensate, but square those feet and dig them in and be ready for someone to yank and pull on your arm because there's nothing that looks weaker than getting pulled off balance in a handshake. It completely drops your social status. Social status is at the core of everything in your social life how much respect people assign to you, what they believe about you, the things they project about you, and that's what we do with the Charisma Matrix.